Hello everybody. I am so excited for today's video because we are on the Amalgacraft server. That is right, this is going to be the first video on this server ever. Well, on my channel at least. Basically, this is a Minecraft server in survival uh, with all, all of my Minecraft friends, all that. A lot of them have got channels of their own. I'll try and link as many as I can in the description down below. But I am so excited to start off. You could not believe. Now, this is actually uh, Season 1 on YouTube. But on the actual server itself, it's Season 2. Because on the last uh, season, none of us were really making videos. But we are now. Anyway, let, let's get straight into it, shall we? I cannot wait. Let, let's just jump into it. So, I've had an invitation to join some people in a plains biome in the uh, the southeast. So, uh, I'm going to head over there now. Well, hopefully I'm going to be able to find them. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you when I reach land because this is going to take a while. Looks like someone's already got diamonds. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit late because I was on holiday when the server reset and I had no idea. Oh my gosh, we're already there. I think we might be there. Also, that looks like a uh, looks like a sea temple. I'm gonna stay away from there just now because I don't want to get murdered by any of our fishy fellows. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to die in like the first three minutes. And I believe that that over there is the shopping district, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's let's go check it out. So the shopping district is where we all have our shops. Pretty self-explanatory, and it's on a mushroom island, so there's no mobs. So and yeah, that looks like mycelium. Let's let's take a let's take a look. Actually, it looks a lot like blackstone. I'm not I'm not too sure. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I've only just started, and someone's already built an island entirely out of blackstone. Look at this. Whoa. Oh my gosh, there's lava in it and everything. Is this going to be a volcano? Ooh, exciting, exciting stuff right here. Well, look, chess. Signs of our first signs of human activity. Bamboo. Can we see that? This is Mitch's chest. That's hard to say. That's a tongue twister. So Mitch is the owner of the server. And we've got some plugins like this, so you can't steal stuff from chess. Because um, we, I think we might be accepting new players. I'm not too sure. And sometimes, you know, we just want to protect against grief and stealing and stuff. Which, it's a shame, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Oh, that is loud. We are steering clear. Those loud cows. So, this is the first thing we see. Let's have a look. So, this is Dark Eclipse. Is it? Yeah. Looks like someone's building a volcano. Exciting stuff. Very, very exciting stuff. Let's, um, yeah, that looks like a, uh, hold on. Oh, no, oh, no, someone's coming after me. Someone, it's a creeper. Run away, run away. I wasn't here. I was not here. Uh, I am not prepared for this. It's very barren, isn't it? Barren... Barren landscape. Alright, I'm gonna try and see if I can find a building other than... Well, if you'd call that a building. Other than that. Alright, so you've got like the outline of where this blackstone mountain ridge thingy is. I'm actually not too sure. I'm actually quite surprised by how, by how quickly I found land. Oh look, there's a uh, spanner over there. I'm not too sure what the seed is. I suppose I'll have to figure it out as I go along. But I know that the shopping district is a mushroom island, which is which is great. I think we should start the good old fashioned way, you know? Get some wood. And make some tools. Oh no. It's getting dark. Hopefully someone else on the server can sleep. Because I know I can't. Oh no. Oh, there's a sheep there. Maybe we can get enough wool just in the nick of time. Oh, never mind. And it is raining. Nice. Hello, sheep. Hey, look. I got lucky. Look at this. 
Hello. Oh, that, that's a bit, that's a bit bad. That's a bit horrific, actually. Oh, gosh. Anyway, time to go get some stone, and then I think we should do a bit of exploring. And here we are, getting the advancement for the Stone Age. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit behind. All right, getting some stone. I'm going to need uh, quite a lot of this if I want to make full set of tools. Um, furnace, yeah, that's the word. Furnace and uh, maybe some other things. You know, just, uh, just enough to live off of. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I must be really lucky because I just found iron. Oh my gosh, there's quite a lot of this. Uh, any more? Not that I'm aware of. I'm also starving, so that's not very good. That is 10 pieces of iron. I got quite lucky there, didn't I? Right, so we're going to come up here and nominate our lovely uh, sheep meat. Mutton? I don't know why I said sheep meat. That sounds a bit odd. Right, let's go see if I can get any more trees, which I can, obviously, because the trees. Not too hard of a task. Let's get some seeds, maybe. Alright, get you. Your little food with legs. Your meal. I, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, let's go get ourselves some more wood. Ooh, sounds like Dark Eclipse is somewhere near me in the in the plains biome near Mitch. All right, let, let's have a look. Uh, are we near there? We are indeed. Hold on, I, I'll come to you. Nice, Blaze is also here. He's a. Uh, he was my friend last season. We stuck together quite a lot. Anyway, let's get some iron. This is very slow, but you know, Stein days. This is this is fine. Someone's tearing down an ocean. Wow. I mean, tearing down a mountain. Why can't I read? I, I have some sort of problem here. But where is that? I'm not sure. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm not waiting for that iron, iron to cook. I'm going finding my friend. Alright, one nine seven four three two. Alright. One nine seven. Alright, I'm gonna try and find which way I'm going. Okay, yeah, I'm not very good at this. Yeah, nearly there. Uh hold on. <laughs> Alright. One nine seven four three two. One nine seven four three two. Hey! There he is! Hello! Hi! There's our friend Dark Eclipse. Uh, is that for me? Is that for me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not too sure what just happened, but... Alright, um... So... Where's the base? <laughs> I think he was trying to impress me with his water skills, but he accidentally just dropped the water. Oh, yeah, well, I was here earlier with the cows and the very noisy cows, noisy cows. And the the pit with the creeper in it. Right, let, let's go down again. Right, I'm just going to pretend I haven't been here. Yeah. So, is this it? Okay, someone wants to do a challenge. A building in the ocean. Okay, futuristic. Cool. Sounds sounds very nice. Uh. Ooh, first one to get ancient debris wins the challenge. I'm not sure I'll be able to do that, but I can dream. Uh, where's the blackstone from? Mitch already won that last night. Alright, never mind then. Oh, it's part of Mitch's base. Okay. Nice. <laughs> He's going to have this whole area. Wow, that's big. That's a lot. That's a lot of area. If I do say so myself. Blaze and I are just here until we move into the water. Cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. I'm 
I'm gonna I'm gonna brave the pit again, see if there's anything new down here. And we've got villagers. That's cool, I guess. Ooh. Who's that? I haven't seen a villager looking like that before. Right. Got any decent trades? Not yet. Oh, you're getting ready to sleep, yeah? Uh, not me. I only have stone. Sorry that you have to bear witness to me slowly, agonizingly typing like that. Hey, summon five diamonds. That's that's cool. That's very cool. I just adjusted the audio a little. Hopefully that's better because I noticed it was very loud. And I thought maybe you couldn't hear my voice. Hold on, what's in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this place? Uh, villager breeder. Nice. All right, I'm gonna have a look around. Okay, yeah, I, I bet I'm not allowed in there, so I'm, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, this just looks like a cave. Nice. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure I was meant to be in there. Oops. Uh. Do, do a little dance, yeah. Hopefully you'll forgive me. With my astonishing dancing skills. Do some redstone and block it up for now. Okay. <laughs> Lol. No <laughs> problem. Oh, so you mean? No, okay, we're fine. I'm gonna go uh, get a base. Yeah, that's my plan. I'm gonna get a base. Hold on, I need some tools. Actually, I'm just gonna start up here a bit. Right now. Actually, I'm gonna go over there. Bit further to the lovely noisy cows and these very noisy villagers. And we're just going to put some things here. Alright. Put in some iron. Wait for that to smelt. Alright, now all that delicious iron has been smelted. Let's make ourselves some tools. I know, very important. No, we're not getting that. Only, only fooling with you. So we're going to get iron sword. Uh, you know what, iron pickaxe. Be an iron axe. Feeling, I'm feeling quite greedy today. As you know, we'll, we'll get a, we'll get a helmet before we get an axe. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, we got all these advancements. Check me out with my lovely, stylish Gucci hat. Lovely. Alright, I'm telling Dark I'm just going to go build my house. Alright, first house of the season. Obviously, it's going to be starter house, no giant skyscrapers. I mean, look at this, just a tortoise with his sad little Gucci beautiful hat. Don't you insult my hat. Alright, so I'm going to go do that. Bit of stray white wool. I think I might have dropped that earlier in accident. Now then. Let's go and explore. Well, I've already done the exploring. I'm just going to look for a good place to build our house. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I think they've edited combat a bit. See, so they no longer have sweeping edge. Oh. The animals are frozen. There you go. Oh, no, that's the sound of evil, evil mobs. They're scary. We're not ready to take on those guys just yet. Not just yet. All right, let's get some food. And let's go and find some flatland to build a lovely little cottage. Honestly, I quite look like the look of this little beach area here. Hold on, we're just going to get a bit of the sand. Now then, I am a builder, not a, not a survival expert, guys. All right. I, I'm Tortoise Boy, not... Tortoise Boy is a builder with his builder's Gucci hat on. Not... No, I'm, I'm no redstone expert. I'm not good at, like surviving or anything like that i'm just here to build a nice looking house which is what i'm going to do right here on this on this beach overlooking my beautiful view with the giant mound and the bamboo and the islands and things lovely oh yes that has just reminded me down there in the bottom left that we're gonna need to make a shot so what should we make a shot for I'm not sure I'm going to do it in this video. I mean, I'm definitely not going to do it in this video. But I just wanted to know, what do you guys think I should sell? Now, remember, I'm not going to rent Uh Maybe I could do something, just grind it, like getting sand. 
yeah, because that's over there, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could do something a bit interesting, like um, building houses for people. Not not too certain. Uh, endless possibilities. This is Minecraft after all, uh, which is by far my favourite video game. This is Minecraft, endless possibilities, endless possibilities for a shop. So, maybe some suggestions down in the comments, if you wouldn't mind. Hey look, it's a bee! It's a bee! Oh look, it's a, it's a bee's nest. Now, I, I've never really used these things before, so I'm not going to touch it in case it like explodes and everyone comes to sting me and kills me. Because that, that wouldn't be very good. Would you guys pay for cobwebs? Uh, not really. Ooh, a shop partner. Ooh, people are partner, partnering up. Maybe I could plan something like that with someone. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be great. Now then, I've got a bunch of materials. Uh, I'll just get some more if I need any more. But I think this is, will be a good start to build a house. First thing, first operation get rid of this hole all right now the hole is dealt with let's figure out a basic pallet like what blocks we're going to be using for this now then if we come over here um i'm thinking maybe stripped oak logs and then some birch wood i think that sounds lovely let's 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 start working back all right so i've just got some basic um some basic foundations don't know why i couldn't think of that word some basic foundations laid out like these are going to be the uh the pillars supporting supporting the walls of the outside of this base and i think it's it's not too complicated of a shape but i think it'll do just nicely yeah iron again i must have really good luck today and that is another six pieces of iron Anyway, we were getting a bit off track there. So, for the outside walls, I've just got normal birch wood. And at the bottom, we've got these stripped birch logs, I think. Yep, logs. You know, just to add that little bit of variation. Add some detail. You know, makes it look a bit a bit nicer, you know. Uh, around here, we've got a very temporary doorway. I say very, very temporary. Uh, the parrots and the bats are lovely. Lovely jubbly. And we also got some coal and we got six iron. That, that is lovely jubbly. Now I've fixed the doorway issue, the one high, because I might want a porch here or something. I think that could look quite nice. I fixed the door issue. I've also got a chest. Here is that porch. Uh, I'm gonna get some coal or charcoal and get some campfires along the top. I think that could look fairly effective and we don't need water since you can do it with shovels now you can like put out the campfires with shovels uh i think this looks quite cute if you could say that if you would like to say that yeah we're also going to need some sand for our windows so let's without further ado further further ado <gasps> let's get into that i just felt like we needed another crafting table for for other things like uh, getting some shackle, for example, for the campfires. We've also got some Gucci sliders. Now then, I'm thinking if we get some of these flowers, we can change the colour of our glass panes so it looks a bit nicer and a bit more exciting, you know? Or maybe we could only change a few of them so it looks like we've got contrast and things. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that sounds about right. So, just around the house, I've carved out some areas where I think windows could go. Just putting those in. I'm going to mix match between the light grey and the normal glass panes. A bit like that. Nice. Fantastico. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, there. You know what, this one will just be... Oh, I already did that one. Alright, so that's all of it. So I'm not going to need any more glass. And that is what the windows look like. I think I'm going to change that one a bit. Uh, maybe I could just... Put that in there. Yeah. Nice. Looking fantastico. 
which, if you didn't know, is fantastic in Spanish. I think we're getting a bit of lag. So I'm not sure if I can film much more, but anyway, I've added some shutters, so it looks, uh, yeah, some trap doors that look like shutters. I've also added this flower pot in front, in front of this window, and I've decided that I'm going to call this the Tortoise Bay, because, because, like, yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Well, I think we've done a lot of progress uh, so far. But, I think that's enough for this video. Uh, wait, no, that's not what I mean. That's not what I meant to say. Not enough for <laughs> it's not the end of the video. It's the end of the day. It's, it's late. I'm tired. In England. So I'm going to see you tomorrow where the house will be finished. And I'll give you a, I'll give you a tour around. I'll hold you by the hand. And show you my five star penthouse suite in the gorgeous golden sands of Tortoise Bay. Alright, see you tomorrow. Righty then, it is the next day and the house is finished and you may be noticing something a little bit different about me too. But let's get on with the house first. Alright, first over here we've got like this little forest farm. Yeah, I've done quite a bit off camera but it's all boring stuff, you won't miss it. Uh, we've got this little farm here, and we've got this sheep pen for sheep. Usually, well, you're putting a sheep pen, but you, you know what I mean. Plenty of sheep that I've been breeding up uh, and shearing, as you can see there. And in here, this this is the new this is the new crib right here. Well, it's the finished crib. <laughs> So, we've got everything I showed you last time. We've also got a lovely new roof. It's slanted, except for in the middle where it's it joins up on both sides. Uh, I haven't completely finished every single detail, but they'll come with time. Oh. F. F no chart right there. Uh, <laughs> we've got this flower pot. The outside looks quite similar, except for that roof that I just put on and the... The sheep pen. Oh, that scared me. That really scared me. Damn you. All right, now I think it's time to show you the interior. So you go in, and instantly, you're in a, a nice kitchen area. Uh, we've got some furnaces. There's some trap doors. And here we've got food, coal, and wood. You know, stuff for the furnaces. Stuff you'd find in a normal kitchen. Except maybe the coal, you don't really have coal in a kitchen, but you know what I mean. Uh, here we've got my lovely sheep head, my bed, uh, very simple area. This is the exciting bit, this is the the working area. In here we've got our storage, we've got some, I don't know why that says wool, I'm going to need to change that. Uh, here we have stone, here we just have anything else, paraphernalia. We also have some building materials, which right now all we've got is glass. And in here... We've got all the wool from the farm, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to change this. And this is kind of like my workstation where I'll be working. Uh, also, what I wanted to show you was my my new bling. Yeah, so I've got full iron armor. I did a bit of mining. Uh, this was actually given me to given to me by Mitch, which was a very kind of him. He just showed up and he gave me this sword. I was very grateful. If you're watching this, Mitch, thank you very much. It is a lovely, lovely uh, sword. And I went mining and I got very lucky. And I managed to get 12 diamonds, 47 redstone, 44 iron, 15 gold. All right. So, that this has been a long enough episode already. So, I think it's about time we uh, we finished. Yeah. So, if you liked the video, please show some support. If you didn't like the video, that's fine. Uh, please leave a dislike. That, I, that would be very much appreciated. If you did like it, please consider liking. If you loved it, you know, maybe you could subscribe, you know, just um, just an idea. I bet these camera movements probably make you feel ill, so I'll stop that. In next episode, we'll probably set up our first shop where we will become a sheep farmer. And a real sheep farmer too. A real sheep farmer. Alright. See you then, guys. Uh, bye bye.